Hi, Steamtopians. This is Little Scribe. Today, I wanted to talk about contests. They are absolutely worth doing. So I wanted to show you how to join a contest, how to enter a contest, and how it can benefit you to do so. The first thing you do is you open to your main user page. And then in the upper right hand corner, there's this little hamburger menu. You click on the menu and select explore. From there, you'll see all of the different categories that are the most popular categories either tagged or talked about in Steemit. And if you wanted to look, you can see how many people are posting in each category, how many comments there are, and what the running total of payouts is. So if they're in alphabetical order, you would just scroll down to contest, click on that, and you'll see a list of all of the contests that are currently running from 23 minutes ago to, I think, up to a week ago. Keep in mind that the ones that are at the top are trending because they are making the most money, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're the most appropriate contest for you. You'll more likely have a better payout if you win one of these contests but you're less likely to win one of those contests. So you just kind of have to figure out what you would rather have more. You want, you want exposure, but if you're going to try and earn a winning, then the top trending contests are simply, I wouldn't call it luck of the draw. I mean, there are excellent entries. And if you think you have what it takes to win, then go ahead and do so. You can win. But the, usually the reason that I would enter the top trending contests would be more just to get a feel for who's doing what, who I'd like to follow, and who I'd like to be associated with. And then when I put my entry in, it also gives me exposure and a chance for people to see what I'm about. So these are definitely worth doing. The only thing is that if, if you'd like to actually earn or win, then you might have a better chance scrolling down a little bit lower where the winnings are a little bit less and there are not quite so many followers and you can kind of get your bearings that way. So go ahead and look through all of these and see which ones suit you. I have selected my top 10 and these are ones that I would personally enter but maybe they're not ones that you would enter. So the first one is actually, whoops, that's not it. Ah! Okay, hold on. The first one is actually the D2 contest. Make yourself a geeky theme song. I think I might actually enter this contest. And I guess let's scroll down and look at the details. There will be four winners who get 15 SBD each. The contest ends two weeks from today, which I think is, that's a pretty good amount of time because you got to have time to write it and record it and polish it. Original work only. And then I guess you would just post it down in the comments below. Looks like we already have a couple of entries. This one's a good one. I'm probably going to do that one if I can scrape together a few minutes. Another one that I do often is Fibra 59's meme challenge. And he also has a photo bomb challenge. These are so funny. And what he does is he'll give you He'll give you a picture that you have to meme, and then you make a meme out of it. This week, the new picture will be a Charlie Chaplin photo. And it, we'll probably already have some entries down here. Let's take a look. Yep. So there's some entries. These are really funny. I actually judged for this once, but I usually either participate or I'll go through and like vote vote people up a few cents so they can get to the top. So this is a really way to get a really good way to get some attention even if you don't win. He picks I think six top winners. But so if you do win that's great, but if you don't at least you did something funny and involved yourself with some people and if you join these contests, you want to go through and comment and vote on other entries because that will generate just a good feeling and a good morale and it will also direct people to look at yours as well and and then the photo bomb is the same thing it's not 
moving. So we're going to skip. Oh, okay. Here we go. So last week's photo, what, <laughs> this one was so funny. It was the mask of this girl and then they would just put it on different pictures. So these were the winners of last week, <laughs> really funny. And so this week's meme or photo bomb is an eagle. And I actually already entered on that one. So you can go check out who entered those. Another person who often does contests is Coruscate. And so she likes to do giveaways whenever she reaches some kind of a milestone. And in this case, the milestone was that she is the top female DTuber. And so she wanted to do a contest to encourage bringing more women to the platform. And the contest is to basically talk about how you're going to do that and to have someone in mind say who they are and then what you're planning on doing to get them on Steam It. And I actually have someone in mind, and I think I'm going to join that contest and write my little bit. So that's a good one. Open Mic Week is always a good one to join. The entries have gotten so good. So you, you're you really going to have to be good if you want to win this. But even just entering and not winning is an awesome experience because you get to post your music. People will look at you. People will follow you, even if you don't win. It's just such a highly sought after contest. And so many people are, are interested. And there's a lot of musicians on here that are looking for support and friends and little clicks and groups that you can join just from meeting people through the open mic week. So you don't have to win for it to be a valuable contest. And there's a seven world continents photo challenge. These are all really great contests. And all of the all the photography is so beautiful. Those look like baked loaves of bread. It's just boulders on the ocean. I mean, look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? It just makes me want to go there. Look at this one. It's so beautiful. Stunning, stunning. Another really fun one is there are a lot of writing contests, like short stories or uh, free writes or poetry contests. This one looks like it's a short story. And the topic for the short story is a robot falls in love with its owner. And on as on every contest, contest there are going to be rules or details. So the terms of this contest are simple. You just have to write a short story no longer than 2,000 words based on the topic phrase, which is a robot falls in love with its owner. And the rules are you have to upvote up vote this post and they want you to re-steam the post. And then you need to put your link of your post into the comments section. And then they have a timeline by which you need to enter. And then they talk about the prizes. That's pretty typical. Not everyone is going to ask you to upvote and re-steam, but that is a pretty typical request because they need to get their coverage as well. Part of the reason for doing contests is contributing to the community, but they put a lot of work into these. And if you're putting a lot of work and giving out money, it's always nice to earn as well while you're doing so. So if you do enter a contest, it's, it's good to give back by voting up on the contest owner and re-steaming if you feel like you can re-steam. And the last one I pick is the 100 Days of Poetry Challenge. I'm actually not sure how this one works because I don't know when the 100 days starts and ends, but it looks like this is day 61, so maybe they just start over with day zero. I don't know, but I see a lot of people doing this, so you can look into that if you would like. It's it's depend. And she probably has lots of updates for you. So again, joining contests is great because you can earn money. But the main reason I join contests is partly because it's super fun, but partly because it's just a really great way to get to know other really cool people. Because people who join contests generally have really cool content, really funny ideas, really creative, interesting people. So I do it just for because it's fun and I, I meet people and I win sometimes, but a lot of times I don't and I still do them anyways. 
So if you have any questions about how to join a contest or how to make a contest, just leave me a comment below or you can reach me on my Discord channel at Steamtopia. And make sure you follow because I do lots of videos and I want to make sure you have all the updated information that you can possibly have to thrive on Steemit. Thanks for coming.